Welcome to Tweet of the Week. I am inspired today because the story you are about to hear is what we want FCPS to be known for everywhere. And this story comes from Haley Otto, who is a junior at Middletown High School, who's running her first year of cross country. Um, and she did something pretty incredible in her first cross country meet at Hereford High School in Baltimore County. And for those who have never been there, it's a really tough course. And I'll let Haley talk a little bit about that. And so Haley, it's your story. Talk to us about what happened the day you were running in the bull run meet and you did something that has catapulted you to a lot of recognition. Yes, yeah, so um, I was about two miles into the course and I was feeling it. A lot of people were feeling it. it um, it's a super hilly course, so it's, it's, a, it's hard. It's mentally taxing for sure. And this, I came across this girl and she was kind of stumbling off the course and um, I don't know, she didn't really seem fully there. She seemed like she was like on the verge of passing out. So I just, just picked her up, threw her over my shoulder a little bit, threw her over my shoulder and just moved her over to um, a flat area where she could sit down. And then I went and I um, got an official to pick her up and see if she was okay. And was this a teammate? Was this someone you knew? Uh, no, I, I don't know who it is. <laughs> so you had no idea. Do you know now? Um, no. <laughs> no. All right. So even now, this was a complete stranger mm -hmm. in the middle of a competition. And we know that, you know, when athletes are competing, they have that goal, they have that focus. But you looked at someone in distress and you had to make a decision. And your choice was, I'm going to help this person and I'm going to get help for her even if it costs me my time, my place in the race, et cetera. And so that photo of you kind of helping her um, was tweeted. And I know that many in FCPS have retweeted it, including myself, um, in recognition of this is what we mean when we say sportsmanship. This is what we mean when we say compassion and caring about other people. And as you described how you were feeling, totally could empathize with that young lady. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you have gotten a lot of reaction to this. What are some of the things that people have said to you? Well, I mean, a lot of my teachers and like adults around me have told me that they're proud of me and they're um, happy that I did it. My coaches were proud of me. They, um, I don't know, they were happy I did it and everything. Everyone was pretty proud of me. It's good, felt and good. That's, that's a good feeling <laughs> mm -hmm. to yes. know that um, a kind deed was recognized. And again, this is your first year running cross country. So I'm gonna take your incredible sportsmanship, why we're so proud of you, but now I'm gonna transition into when I asked you about cross country, it's obvious that it's not your favorite sport. No. <laughs> and you waited until your junior year to do it. Mm -hmm. Why did you join cross country this year? Well, cross country in itself kind of sounds dreadful. It's very long. It's And I'm a sprinter, so um, running long distances definitely isn't my forte or anything. But I was... Last year, me and three other girls won the 4x4, four four, or sta the states for 4x4. Four um, for a relay and the 400 is a little bit more endurance based rather than what I'd been doing before the 100 and the 200 which is just like pure going at it and I wanted to be I wanted to have more endurance and and um, stamina and I thought that cross country would really help me with that so I just wanted to get conditioned before indoor and outdoor. So that competitive athlete doing well, but I want to do even better. And if I have to build endurance, cross country is definitely the sport Yes, <laughs> that will help you build endurance. But as you said, it's tough. And there's a big difference between running three miles and you run a lot more than three miles in practice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Cause they're building your endurance for three miles. So they're making you run many, many miles during practice. Mm -hmm. um, and so Haley, I'm going to tell you that I am incredibly proud of the sportsmanship you demonstrated. I think you are a role model for 
for many athletes, including professional athletes, who could do a lot better in that regard. So I'm in very, very proud of that tweet and what you did. Thank you. But in our conversation today, I'm going to tell you that I'm also really proud of the perseverance you're showing and that drive for self-improvement, because that's something that you're doing as an athlete, but that's something that, again, serves as a role model for others. You don't always have to like what you're doing to make you better in something else, but it is that hard work and that perseverance that is going to help you achieve that goal. And if your goal is more endurance so that I can be a better contributor on this 4x400 relay, kudos to you. Um, because again, cross country is not an easy sport and you do have to work very hard at it. So I'm really proud of you Thank for you. <laughs> your grit, for your perseverance, for your desire to self-improve, and then for, for being what we feel is one of the best exemplars of sportsmanship we've ever seen. And the fact that you still have no idea who that young lady was, that you reached out to help is just amazing to me. So congratulations, Haley, on just being all around amazing. Thank That's you. That's all I can say to you. So talk to me a little bit. You're a junior in high school. What's next? Are you thinking about trying to continue to do track into college or is it just something that's going to always be a hobby and a passion of yours? Um, yeah, I'd like to go to college for track. Um, I'm thinking D2. I don't, D1 is very intense. I don't mm -hmm. think that's my passion, but I love running and I um, want to continue to do it in college. Yeah. All right. Well, fantastic. Well, we will wish you much success. I'll be watching to see how things go in that 4x400. Okay. And um, again, thank you so much for giving Frederick County a name now as a county of athletes who care about others and are willing to reach out and help. So just amazing the impact you've had. I hope you realize that. Thank you. Um, it goes way beyond just adults being proud of you for sure. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being here today as well. Thank you. You know, one of the great things about Twitter is that you get to see heartwarming stories like Haley's. And when we have multiple people retweeting things, you know you have something special going on. So I hope you enjoyed an opportunity to meet this very special young lady who has made us FCPS proud over and over and over again. So thank you for joining us on Tweet of the Week. We hope to inspire you again next time. So please join us.